Well, thank you everyone. Um, I'm just going to go through the crowd preprint review orientation session for 2023, which is super exciting. And I'm very, very happy I came on just before this started, because this is going to be really fun to run. Thank you to all the crowd leads who have offered their time this year to run this. Um, you'll see in a minute why that's such a cool thing that's, that's happened this year. Um, and yeah, I'm just really glad you're all here. I'm so happy. So thank you for joining. I'm just going to cover why we do this, what we're doing, and what your role as someone who is part of this crowd is going to be. And then, as I said, if anyone has any questions, we are here to answer and hopefully address everything you could possibly think of. So why do we do crowd preprint review? I mean, we, we obviously, we believe there's a big value in providing feedback on preprints. Not only does this speed up the whole process of getting feedback, but people who post preprints often cite early feedback as one of the main reasons they post a preprint to begin with. So it's an important part of the ecosystem that people using preprints have. And this crowd review idea was actually started by a journal. Um, and there's two big benefits to this as being part of the crowd. One is that it addresses any vulnerability you may have about signing a public review, because now you're part of a group, you're not just out on your own. But it also allows flexibility on whether or not you comment on a full paper or just part of a paper. And that really means we actually get to do much better peer review because now you don't have to be an expert in the whole preprint. You just have to be an expert in a section of it. And it makes your life as a reviewer easier because instead of commenting on a whole paper, you just do the bits you're comfortable with. So we, we tried this in 2021. And this was a review of cell biology preprints on BioArchive. Uh, the outcome of this was that we posted 14 public reviews. We had over 100 researchers sign up. And we had about four to 10 people per preprint. Afterwards, we surveyed the preprint authors who all said that they found it a very useful exercise. And so building on that, in 2022, we decided to go a bit bigger and we expanded to include additional groups, disciplines and languages. So this was a collaboration where we managed to not only cover English preprints, but we also covered the Portuguese preprints. This year, we had three crowds and we had over 200 researchers sign up. The outcome of that was 40 public reviews posted, which is a, a huge increase from year one. Uh, 27 of those were on by archive and 13 were on those Portuguese preprints, which again is another benefit of doing crowd review. Now in 2023, we've gone bigger again. And this year, the crowd review is going to be led by some of our brilliant ASAP Bio fellows, uh, many of which are in this call actually. So the meta research crowd is going to be led by Stephen and Jessica, the computational neuroscience crowd by Ryan, the meta research, sorry, the metabolism crowd by Pablo, and I will chip in and help out where I can with that one. Then we've also got the cancer biology crowd led by uh, Garima and Arpita, and the cellular neurobiology crowd led by Kamal, Barji and Anna. So this means you're well covered if you have any concerns, questions or issues. There's plenty of people who you can go to for help. Um, so the way this is going to work this year, basically what we're going to do is every two weeks we will send out a preprint and we'll email the entire crowd asking for comments on that preprint. What you will receive as a crowd member is a Google Doc template. And um, well, I'll show you the Google template in a minute. You will comment on that Google template. And then after about two weeks of commenting time, the commenting will close. I can't go back. There we go. I'm still going forward. There. So after two weeks, the commenting will close and we will then synthesize all those comments. The crowd leads will do that. And then we will post those reviews publicly to pre-review and those will get picked up by Society. When you provide feedback, uh, these slides will be available after this. Um, so we'll circulate the preprint on Wednesdays via email, and you'll all have access, or you should also actually now have access to the folders for each crowd. Um, we don't expect you to comment on every preprint. We expect you to contribute about once a month. Feel free to comment on every preprint if you wish to, and you have the time to do so. And you don't have to comment on the full preprint. We only ask that you comment on the parts that you are comfortable commenting on. 
If it's the full preprint, great. If it's only certain parts of the methodology, also incredibly useful. We ask that all comments are polite and constructive and aligned to the FAST principles. Um, these are available through this link here, which, as I said, the slides will be afterwards. So please do click through that and read through those before we send the first preprint out. So I said I'd show you the, the Google Doc here. Every preprint we send you will have this, will be part of this Google Doc. The first page has the preprint details on it, and then there's public review section. This is where you can kind of do your broader comments. Um, it's a little bit, looks a little bit different actually this year. So we've added a section this year, so you can add your name to the review if you want to be anonymous or not. Uh, and there is also a section at the end now for any conflicts of interest anybody might have. If you do have a conflict of interest, that doesn't mean you can't comment on a preprint. We just would like to know what conflict is. Um, and then the crowd leads or Jessica or I will, will decide whether or not it's appropriate for you to comment on that preprint. For the most part, I imagine it probably will be. Otherwise, we ask for comments on validity and strength of methods and experiments, equally on conclusions and whether conclusions are supported by the data, and then any comments on reporting of the study. So anything about pro uh, statistics, protocols, availability of data, things like that. You will also get at the after the first page of this Google Doc is the inline commenting section. And this is where you'll have the entire preprint in the Google Doc, and you can comment on individual sections. So if you have a particular comment about a single line in the preprint, you can add a comment in there. And that we will also synthesize into the public review that we post. When we do post the reviews, like I said, the crowd leads will synthesize all the comments into a single review. If you've chosen to add your name to the review, your name will be reflected in the public review. You can choose to be anonymous and then you, simply your name won't be in the public review. Uh, the crowd will be though. The synthesized review will be posted to pre-review. Um, it gets a DOI uh, through that system and it also gets picked up by Society. Uh, this is Society, this is what it looks like on Society if you're not familiar with that. Uh, this is a link out to the previous 2022 society reviews uh, if you want to look at what we did last year so questions i try to get through that so we had lots of question time 